Gentlemen, we've been lied to. When you turn on DLSS frame generation, it lowers your frame rate. Maybe you haven't been lied to, but we've got to test it out and see. Does it really happen? And by the way, I'm going to call you gentlemen going forward because we have a complete cockfest going on. It's like a 99.999% men follow rate on this page, obviously, because girls don't play video games. But there's only one way to test out. I've got an Asus souped up really good PC behind me with an Asus 5080 GPU and I have Cyberpunk. So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna turn on frame generation and we'll see what happens with the frame rate. The reason why I can talk now is because I have the Steam overlay enabled. What you see on the left is the frame generation FPS and this is the real FPS. Do not worry about everything else. So first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna turn off frame generation right there. We have all the settings up for ray tracing and shit, so watch. So we have this. Now what'll happen, that number will just be FPS and it's gonna show us the real FPS, which is 57. So watch this. I've got ray tracing enabled, so don't judge me. This is pretty slow, right? Okay, so let's just assume that our base FPS is 60. Remember this number, 60. Don't worry about these numbers. Now I'm gonna to go to settings and I'm going to enable DLSS frame generation and we're gonna do 2X and I'm gonna try 3X and 4X. So watch this. I'm not gonna reboot. Look what happens. Now my frame rate has dropped to 55 and our DLSS frame rates reported as 108, 110. So we have dropped about around 10%, right? All right, so let's see what happens if we go down to or go up to like three. All right, let's go up to three. You have to understand here, we went down even more, 52 FPS, 156, okay? So let's go up to four and I'm gonna explain what's probably happening here. All right, so let's go back. I'm not touching anything, so we went down to 50 FPS, and then now we're getting about 200. I'm not gonna act like I know exactly what's happening, but from what I understand, if you enable upscaling or frame generation, there's a computational cost to that, and that cost is being reflected in the real FPS, not the fake frames, that, what you call them. In other words, you gain some and you lose some. But you know what? Who gives a shit? You get really good FPS. Enjoy it. Oh, and one more thing. I didn't fall off. I just stopped giving a shit. I don't make content for the masses. I make whatever content I like to make. If you guys like it, like the video. If you don't, I'm totally cool with that.